Yo, what's good? It's your boy Derek Branch here with Memphis Wire on Sports View 360. In today's video, I just want to talk about uh, the current, you know, you know, feel, the current vibe of the Memphis Tigers men's basketball program. Um, now that they have um, arrived, the team is pretty much intact now um, with all the personnel that is um, pretty much needed for the upcoming season. I just want to talk about um, is this team going to gel early and, you know, now that everybody is here at the same time working out, going through training drills, going through um, schematics, trying to figure each other's game out, you know, bond, bond together as a team, will that lead to – long-term success or that lead to consistent, consistent success compared to previous years where it has taken this team quite a bit of um quite some time to figure things out, figure the kinks out, learn on the fly, um, as they um, you know, grow down the stretch. Will that be the case this season? With this, with this uh this year's version of the Memphis Tigers men's basketball team. Now, just to give you a quick little rundown, a quick little recap of the current roster they have right now, the current players. Right now that is Tyrese Hunter, PJ Haggerty, Kobe Rogers, Dan Danger, Nick Jordan, Moise Sisse, Barack Koji, Tyreek Smith, PJ Carter. Demarion Yates, Roger Phillips, Jared Harris, the incoming freshman, and Daniel Vera Tuck, who may or may not be a part of this year's program. So when the reports came out a few months ago, I believe around May, if I'm not mistaken, that all the players had arrived to Memphis, to the Memphis area, to prepare for the upcoming season. Um, it was posted online, posted on social media. The players were, you know, posting images of their new um, home, um, Memphis, Tennessee. They arrived in the area. And according to Penny Hardaway, the, the intent of doing that, the, the intent of getting the, player, the players here earlier, you know, well, very well, well before the season tipping off is to, get these guys acclimated, get these guys acclimated to playing with one another, you know, figuring each other out, understanding each, each other's weaknesses, um, go over schemes, you know, who's going to be established, who the leaders are, who the playmakers are, who's, who's going to be the guys that do the, the grunt work, the, the, all, all, all the, uh, the dirty work out there, who are those guys going to be, and can that work this time? You know, will it, will it lead to this team being more consistent in conference and out of conference? You know, um, I've listened to quite a few of those of uh, Penny Hardaway's post game pressures since due to, due to the fact that you know I'm a credential media member of um for the program covering the team's basketball team basketball program and. One thing that he always, that Hardaway has always, you know, constantly said throughout these meetings, these press um, interviews, is that, especially this past season, was that the team didn't, the team was still figuring each other out. It was still figuring each other out. They hadn't been together long enough to know, know each other's tone, know each other's um, game. It, it, was, it was like they were learning on, on the fly as a team. And, you know, to me, you know, based on my observation, I'm not making an excuse or anything like that, but that that may have pretty much sealed that team's fate last season. You know, because they had a really strong resume, you know, to not get into the tournament. Is what would really crush them is in conference play. AAC play because you beat teams like outside of the conference, you beat teams like Clemson, 
Texas A and M. It beat Virginia. You, you know, VCU didn't really go anywhere, but yeah, it's still a, a good win. Arkansas, Michigan. You had a really good run outside of the um the tournament, outside of playing in the American. Is that when you got into the American, for whatever reason, that ain't started to go sideways. You know, um, it, it was teetering in a lot of games, a lot of close games where late game heroics had to be done to win those games. And once you once they blow that 20 point lead to South Florida, that's when the wheels start to run off. The wheels start to come off. And that's when Hardaway start going into detail on why the team could be struggling. You know, because you know, he meant one of the main reasons why was the lack of cohesion, the lack of not being together enough to figure each other's games out. Not there, not being there early enough to understand the scheme, not being there, not being there to um understand what is what is what does it mean to be a Memphis Soccer. You know, and he got these guys here well before the season tips off, which starts on November, in November against Missouri at home at FedEx Forum. So if that's the case, can this team, can this team or this current team, can this early cohesion by this team lead to success? Can it be a more, a more consistent team for the entire season? You know, because of, if so, I think it, it can help. I think this team could be better than what um, the fan base is perceiving it to be. And a lot of people, just based on you know, the conversations I'm seeing, just the people's tone, tone the fan base's uh, vibe right now, they're not really, they're not all too enthused about this year's team. They're not. And you really can't blame them based on how last season turned out. You know, it's kind of, the fan base is kind of in a, in a show me mode, you know, a wait and see mode, you know, because of what happened last year, you know. And I think one of the methods to getting this team back, back on the right track and I think Penny Hardaway feels the same way is to be better, be um have better, stronger co cohesion prior to the season tipping off. You know, is um is a mistake to add to you know continue to build his team up, continue to you know construct the roster on the fly and learn on the fly when you're trying to you know. Compete for NC to compete for NCAA tournament birds down the stretch. That's to me that's dangerous for any team, for any program. Blue blood, non blue blood, um, mid majors. It doesn't matter. You can have all the talent in the world. If that talent does not come together early, is not built up early, not establishing themselves early on, like well before the season start, they're not working out, they're not working on each other's games, they're not figuring each other out, understanding the, the, the vibe of the, of, the, of, the, of the particular players, it's not going to work. It's not going to lead to long-term success. It's not going to lead to consistent success. And that's what has, I mean, pretty much been a, a hanging over the program. You know, since Penny took over, it's just that they're kind of inconsistent early on or inconsistent down the stretch. You know, and it happened in 20, it happened two years ago. But the thing is, you had guys like Kendrick Davis, you know, out there that took care of business. Kendrick Davis, DeAndre Williams. You had players that understood their role, they figured it out, and they went to the tournament. You know? So, I think if everybody's here already, 
everybody's here. You know, everybody is is here working out uh, with you know with one another. You know, understanding each other's game, who learning who the scores are, who going to be the go to players, who's going to be the players that that come out there and you know do the dirty work, the role players. I think you're gonna have a really good team. You know, they just gotta um, bring it together. But we'll see how it all plays out real soon. Uh, we're in the month of August, and we have let's see, we're like two months away from college basketball, live college basketball games once again. Tigers open up against Missouri at FedEx Forum, a rematch from last season. So we'll see how it all play out. But those are going to be one of the things I'm looking out for in that game. Is is this team together? Is this team, you know, fully bought it? Did the um off season did the uh off season um workouts, you know, pay it off in that matchup? But that's something else I want to think about, you know. Is the team is this team better? Did the early cohesion bring this team together? Is it gonna make this team more consistent down the stretch? So there's that. All right, so I'll laugh y'all for right now, man. Give me a like, comment, subscribe to the channel, let me know how you feel. Do you feel as though the early cohesion is gonna help out this team in the long run? And also check out MemphisWire.net for the latest content on the Memphis Tigers football and basketball programs. Have a blessed day. Peace. I'm out. Ciao.